Anyway, welcome back, ladies. How's everyone doing? Good. How are you? Doing good. Welcome back to this episode of Thick and Tired. My name's Cassidy. We have... I'm Gia. Leah. Corinne. Guess what? It's what? June. It's June. It's Pride Month, it's Pride baby. Pride Month. Happy Pride to everyone out there. Happy We're Pride excited. if you're one of our couples who... Oh, what did you say before? What did I say? I said that they need to send me their wedding Lesbians. photos. Lesbians. Send? Yeah. <laughs> My lesbians or any any bride who's not marrying a man, I want you to send, send me your wedding photos. Please. Wedding photos. Yeah, we need I more want, wedding photos. Because I want to see them. But we have... Because they have the, like, oh my gosh, the styles. Yeah. When they come in, the veils, the dresses, the, you know, the yeah. matching of this, the not yeah. matching. I, I love it. I, I want it. I want to see... <gasps> The first look photos? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When well, we used to, to do the bridesmaids in the other store, and we did it the one year in here, we used to take the um, bridesmaids' dresses and put them in the color of the pride I flag. I remember that. And then we would you, put yes. them in the window. Oh, I we love would do like that. a little yeah. rainbow. Yeah, and it was really, really cool. And then we stopped doing bridesmaids, and I didn't have the colors anymore to yeah. do it. Thank so God we stopped doing yeah. bridesmaids. I mean, they were a little bit of a pain in the ass, but you know what? I mean, I'm like looking around, and I'm like, I guess we could do blush, because it's like pink. A- well, we did like we had like yellow. Oh, we had like yeah. the whole no, we had color. The whole we had the whole rainbow, oh, and we fun. like literally lined them up like oh. back. Like it was, it was cool. Cute. I have pictures. I'll have to post them. That is cute. Maybe yeah. we could do something like that in Port Jeff. Yeah, look at yeah. that. I have to find those colors. What's your favorite gay icon, Corinne? Colors. <sighs> Cher. I okay. freaking love Cher from Cher from oh, like sure. when I was a kid and my mom like followed like you know like watched the show yeah. like the Sunny and Cher show and stuff. And like at this, well now it's Chaz, but like at yeah. the time it was Chastity Bono, and she was like this little itty bitty thing, and I just love Cher. She's like with her Bob Mackie dresses. She's just so insanely. She's like a hundred oh. years old. I can't do that gorgeous. on here, but I just like <laughs> flew my headband. Can you do so. an impression of her? Of Cher? Yeah. No, I'm her? gonna leave that to Just Jack. <laughs> Who's that? What? You guys don't know who Just Jack is? Oh, Will and Grace. Yeah. yeah fabulous. Oh. He that. does the best impressions of Cher. <laughs> Leah, who's your favorite gay icon? Um, my all year icon, which is Tim Gunn. Oh, always okay. my favorite, my favorite human being on the planet. Always Timmy G. Is it because always. of Project Runway? Yeah, I just think he's an angel, a walking angel. Have you ever met him? Because you went to FIT, right? No, I never did. And I said I would literally die in the street if I ever like walked past him. Does he teach there? No. No. Wasn't he a Parsons? Parsons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was at Parsons. The fancy yeah. kid school. Yeah. Well, apparently Perfect. he hates <laughs> he hates Taylor Momsen because Who's when that? she So, if you've ever watched Gossip Girl, little yeah. Jay, Jenny, Dan oh, Humphrey's younger I, sister I who's blonde, Gossip who's Girl. the wannabe. So she bas- she got banned from New York. It's a whole storyline. Watch Gossip Girl. But mm. she so, watch that show. Eh, it's good. You never did? Mm-mm. I do it's love Gossip Girl. I was really embroiled in it. Um, then she came back for a little cameo. So Taylor Momsen, she left the show. She became like a rock star, you know? Mm-hmm. And then she came back and she did, because she was like a fashion designer. That was the whole thing. And then she worked with Tim Gunn in the show. But then it got sabotaged. And it was like oh. a whole thing. And then Tim Gunn apparently hated working with Taylor Momsen when she was on Gossip Girl. Well, let's ask him. Let's have him on the show and ask I mean, him. Tim, she must have been. Tim. She must have been listening. awful for him to like, like her. Like Tim he Gunn. was just yeah. such a. You I'm know. sure he listens to us. Yeah. Wow. How could he not? He was Hi, just Tim. such a light. Like, the whole room lights up when Tim Gunn walks in. Like, really? his birthday. Happy. Yeah. What? His birthday? I don't know. Oh, Cassie, wow. you have a phone. Can you I should have known this. Yeah, look, look it up, up on the computer. Who's your favorite gay icon, though, Gia? Mine. Um, oh, I. I feel like I have a lot, but I can't think of any. So <gasps> I'll go with like modern day. I was just going to say another one. Go ahead. And I will say Renee Rapp. Oh. Just oh, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, she's like, so she was just in, she was the Regina George in the newest Mean Girl movie, but don't let that be your opinion of her. Renee, because, like what, it, let me look She's up blonde. She's, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's so funny. Really? She's I didn't know that. so funny. And she's actually very interesting. Oh, so yes, I guess yes, in yeah, the original okay. Mean Girls, yes. this is just because now I've gone into the lore. Didn't and she the, go on to do those unhinged? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Go like, ahead. I yes. feel like if I were doing like celebrity interviews, that's probably the energy I think I would bring. Okay. Like, mm. she was like, I hate old people. And I was like, you know what? Mm. Me too. But anyways, so she, um, when she was on Mean Girls on Broadway, because she was like the Regina George in that, she actually told this tale. So I guess one of the lyrics is like, you know, because they're mean girls, they're superficial. It's like, I'll never made like way more than 115. And she goes, I don't want to say that. So then for the movie, they changed it. And then apparently when she was on the Broadway show, 
I was going to say, she weighs more than 115. Yeah. So she, like, I guess for the little Halloween bunny scene, she wears, like, a little, like, skivvies, you yeah. know? But then I guess she started to gain weight as she was on the Broadway show, and they said, actually, we're going to put a little skirt on you. <gasps> and so they put a skirt on her because they didn't like that she was gaining weight and, like, mm. becoming a woman. Lame. Anyways, so that's my gay icon. Who's yours, Cassidy? I love Judy Garland. And I, 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 like, I, first of all, I didn't know Judy Garland was Liza Minnelli's mother. Yes. Oh, I was just going to say, so, if you're going to talk about Judy Garland, yeah. you have to mention Liza Minnelli. Like, she's an honorable funny, mention. Because I don't, the only reason why I know so much about Judy Garland is because one of my dear friends, Michael Stafiri, is obsessed with Judy Garland and, like, dresses up in drag for her. And and she, he's I love that. amazing. He does the best impression. I never knew how much of, like, a gay icon well, she was yes. until, and, like, he is... Hold on, I want to try to find a picture of him dressed up like her. Well, it's unbelievable. That's hysterical. He Did you know that? Like her. That's Judy amazing. Garland well, I usually come in with a little bit of history, like he half history, because I only know really? like half the story of anything, obviously. And so, Complex. Judy Garland, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> do you know? I can't even remember what it's called. The big, when Judy Garland died, everyone was in outrage. They were very upset. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Stone. Stonehenge. Maybe the big the the gay rights. Hmm. Oh, oh that's with, like the rock. And I think I don't it was know like what you're yeah, about. I have him. I have him here. Can I, show I can't girl? remember. <laughs> I'll look it up. But basically, like a like <laughs> Judy Garland's death just was like a big catalyst. It's a big thing. Hold on, you gotta see. This is so that everyone. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, you gotta follow my best friend Michael. He sang my first wedding song, Michael. He does this all himself. Wait, he did this? Yeah. She's gonna come out. Hold on. You should take a clip from this and show it during the thing. Send it to me. Come on, Michael. But he's a uh, he's into he does film like Sam does, but not costume. He does props and stuff. Here he is. Huh? Isn't he fabulous? Yeah, that's fabulous. So I love Judy Garland now because of Michael. Does he have like a lot of views on that? He's he's like kind of yeah he's like a big deal. I want Michael to be my wedding singer. Sang, I want singer, a drag queen as my wedding fabulous. singer. So I love Judy Garland now because it reminds me of Michael and Michael is everything. So awesome. Love you, wow. Anyway, so that was okay. some fabulous. Well, but we have to give again honorable mention to Liza Minnelli, Liza Barbara Minnelli, Streisand. So I mean these funny. are like you know. And when I said to him like I didn't know that was Liza Minnelli's mom, he looked he like literally was like yeah. go to fucking yeah. hell. Yeah. I love Babs. Yeah. I love that she never oh. got a nose job. Anyway. Bar- well, yeah, bar- you know what I also... Fu- now I guess I'm just accidentally getting onto a tangent, really. But that reminds me. So, the new Bridgerton just came out. Oh. I, I have not watched it. it because I really kind of, like, gave up on Bridgerton. But the mm. main girl who I guess is, like, the girl that's about town, Nicola... Is that her name? Nicola? I don't know. I'm not sure. But I do know that Nicola is the... Is this the plus size girl? Of Victoria Beckham, who she has beef with, but that's a side note. Is it the plus size yes, girl? Yes, oh. yes. So she, which kind of reminds me of that, because I was like, it's so funny, because we all want to name gay icons, where like gay, like icons to the gays, but not necessarily icons that are gay. Yeah. Right, yes. So then I was watching this interview she gave, and I guess she's a big Real Housewives fan. Yeah. Said tickles are fancy. Tickles and she was everything. like, honestly, she was like, tickles I just more wish. more than my fancy Gia. Yeah, <laughs> literally. She's like, I love it. Well, I can't stop thinking about Kim Zolciak. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. Okay, so, so go, go basically she po- said her whole vibe. She was like, I just wish my dream job was just singing random words like the housewives do and making yeah. songs That's for amazing. gay clubs. We would be amazing. Oh, right. The real like Luann DeSeps. Yes, like Countess Luann, um, Kim Zolciak, Erica Jane. Gia. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Um, it was my birthday. It was your birthday. I heard you uh, jumped into a... Sensory deprivation tank. I did. Which we talked about last episode. It sounds like some con- some kind of form of medieval torture. Yes. So tell so. us all about it. Were you naked? Tell okay. us everything. Okay. So I'll start from the top. So I went to this place, Floatopia, in Huntington. Mm-hmm. It was so, so cute in there. Very clean. Very cool. Very zen. They have complimentary tea. They have nice bathrooms. So, and they have, like, infrared there. Like, mm-hmm. infrared saunas. Wow. They have yoga. I think they have a whole bunch of other, like, wellness things. Basically. So little old me... I arrive, but before I arrived, I read my confirmation email because it's very important to read your confirmation emails before you go get any service, like a bridal appointment. Yeah, like <laughs> shopping for <laughs> your Shout wedding out. dress. You know, which I actually had a really good idea, but that's a side note I'll talk to you later. Yep, so, later. Yes. So I read my confirmation email because I wanted to make sure I had the address, like just any pertinent information. Right. I don't know if they need, I don't know. 
because I literally booked it the night before. And yep. I'm like, that's kind of inconvenient, but whatever. Mm-hmm. If they so need to call it- me, I'll probably ignore the call. So, whatever. So, I read it. They send me a little video. They go, watch this before you go in. I'm going to watch the video before I go in. They go... When you enter the room, you have your own shower, you have towels, you have a robe. They want you to shampoo, condition, and wash your body. Or they don't want you to condition your hair. And then you go into the tank, which is basically, so a sensory deprivation tank, I think I explained it last time, it's literally just a super salty bathtub where you're just totally enclosed. So, little old me, I watch the video and I go, I'm not using their shampoo, I'm not using their suave. I'm using my Wella Fusion Plex for my hair. Wow, it needs. I mean, they want you to shower at the place before you go. Yes, because they want okay. you to be clean yeah, before no you go. Yeah, no oils in your body. So what? Ha- so you go there. You you bring your Wella. So, but how was I? I'm not going to bring my two big bottles because they're huge. Mm-hmm. So I did scour my house for empty pill bottles. So I poured shampoo and conditioner into empty pill bottles so that I could use that as a container so that I could wash my hair with my own stuff. So you look I go like in. a drug addict. Continue. Yes. Yeah, I know. I was like, I probably look crazy, and I only brought like a little teeny tiny bag. Sorry, I kicked I off. no, you're fine. So I wore a bikini in it so i wore my bikini bottoms and i said i'm taking this top off i feel like it's yeah. gonna bother me i don't want to lay down with a bra on so i get into the tank they have a little light in the corner horrifying and so you have a button where you can change the light and so you could do which they didn't have a pink light so i settled for purple at first i know but yet they have a strobe function but i think i clicked so you it could too fucking hard. stroke out no literally i got so scared i was like as you float in the dirty ass salt yes. ass water so i started with a purple light <laughs> okay it was quite fun. But I said, well, that's why I said I'm going to go, like, to the 11 a.m. Because I don't think anyone else is floating at 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning. You know True. what I mean? You probably so I said I'll the be the first ones. one. I'll be nice and clean. But I'm not really worried about cleanliness. I'm kind of dirty. Anyways, so whatever. So, <laughs> I've heard it all now. So you can change the light in there. But as you lay in there, you get earplugs so that water doesn't go in your ears. And you just float. Like, you literally feel like you're laying on a bed because it's just a thick bed of salt. And it, like, settles on the bottom. And it's, like, just... You're How long were you in there for? I did an hour and a half, which I think is, honestly, I think it's too long for me. Well, can I ask? Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Pa- oh, sorry. Pause. Number one was their music. Could you pick your own music? No, there's no music. Um, it's quiet in there. There's no Bluetooth. There's no nothing. I think also if you did play music in there, I don't think the other rooms would hear it because I was also smack dab in the, like, with other floating rooms next to me. So you're in dead silence because it's supposed to be literally nothing you are supposed to be dead silent quiet still sensory deprived nothing that's like my nightmare it's so that did kind of make me go a little crazy but i don't mind it do they lock you in no it's like, no. Oh, like a door oh, like a tanning no. salon yeah so it's just, yeah so it's just it's just a regular door with a lock and then so you walk into the room and it's like a glass partition which has a shower and then on the shower there's a tile wall and then on in the tile wall there's a in the middle of the wall, it's a glass door. They so open door. up, and it's a little steamy. They keep it at ninety three point five degrees, so that it's basically like, basically like it feels like your body temperature. So that it's not too hot, it's not cold. You're just super, super comfortable. That sounds like in the hot water. as shit. Right? It's not That's though. What I, said. It, My, I take ninety nine degree showers. No, it's I. I almost wish it was hotter because it was so warm that it was almost uncomfortable to just lay there. Because I was like, I'm sweating, but I'm not hot. Did you have to pee? I didn't feel any. I like didn't feel that sensation. What? And then the yeah, minute, what happens if you do have to go to the bathroom? The sensory Heck, no, I didn't. Is there a toilet in there? There's not. There's like a separate bathroom. Okay, so how did you feel mentally? Like when you went in there, like yeah. what was going through your head? So I really wanted to use it as like a reset for myself to just kind of literally have a moment of relaxation, hang out. Clarity. Yeah, just like maybe like a little come to Jesus moment. You know what I mean? Oh. I think I came to Moses. I didn't quite get to That's Jesus funny, though. Moses is fucking hot. Continue. You ever see that? That movie, The Ten Commandments. I, I love that movie. Sexy ass Moses. Oh there God. You go. the prince of but yeah, the so I wanted to have but a come to Jesus moment. So, I, I have yeah. to stop you for a second. Yeah. Why were you having a come to Jesus moment? You're Jewish. Are you Jewish? Well, like, She's I don't Jewish. Need, well, I don't, yeah, I am Jewish, but I don't need to come to Jesus. I just mean, like, metaphorically. I don't really know who Jesus is or really. All right, that's another, that's another podcast. Yeah, I just wanted to I'm like, I don't really know who that ask. man is. But I was just looking for, like, really just, like, to feel, like, ugh. And did you? Did you have, like, an outer body experience? Well, so I, I really, I tried to focus. I tried to meditate, and I said, just let things fly off of you. You know, I've worked, you know, I've worked with meditation specialists before. Really? I should get one of those. But I actually have. It was in high Let's school. Let's all do it. 
Yeah, well, it was this guy. He would come and he was like like a monk. And he basically taught you all the ins and outs of the vibes of meditation. And I do enjoy meditation. I just like... It's it's a whole thing. I just okay, find so it you, like, so down. you knew you know how to meditate. So then, so yes. did you get to that? Um, I like, I did a couple times, and I'm gonna be dead honest. So, when I got to a real deal state of relaxation, I was like, I think I'm like really getting it. I'm drifting. I'm starting to sleep. I swear to God, what was I envisioning? Me hanging out with the Real Housewives. I swear to God. So that's your yep. come to Jesus I, moment. I think that was my peaceful space. <laughs> Teresa Judice. No, literally. Jesus. So but then I was in there and I said, am I really paying for this as like my free time? I was like, this is my free time. And I always say, she, I wish I had more free time. And I'm sitting it, it I, I'm, I'm using it in a salty bathtub. It and then I said, productive though. Like it, it's a, a moment, like you said, you're entering this well, new That's what I was trying to tell life. myself. And then I was and like, you, it's like I'm on Survivor. Okay. You know, I needed that mental toughness. That's what I said. I was the like, mental this... toughness. It's supposed to be relaxing. I know. I so then that's what I told my myself. And then I that. said, I think I'm a do it kind of gal. I said, I don't think I need free time to sit around and meditate. I think I need to do things. Yeah. And I said, I should jump out of this tub right now. Anyways, and then I didn't. I said, no. So you stayed down. the whole 90 minutes. I stayed the whole. Well, good for you. I'm proud whole... of you. Thank you. And when you got You're out, welcome. like, you just, just fucking go about your merry way. Yeah. So I realized the lights were turning on. They start to swirl the water sorry oh. we'll just start to swirl asleep. the water and then they said they would play music but i didn't hear any music and then so after i had to shower and so i'm like but now i'm like i don't want to be in here too long and i was feeling a little insecure and embarrassed so i was like do they drain the washing tub myself the tank when you go get out so i have no I idea doubt it i don't think so because they're putting tons considering they're making her shower before yeah too. but also yeah <laughs> but Cassidy's also like how, that how it's do you clean minute. a saltwater pool do you have a saltwater pool i do yeah how she do does. you clean it uh i mean we have filters well i don't know maybe they have those beats me what i mean I the first wait lot, it's so. it's is it when you get so does it look like you have to show me a picture does it look like a jetted tub like kind of does it have jets? Well, no. they, it had to have because you said the word was. It had. Water. You could tell there was like a filter on the bottom, and a so then that's on the they side. empty them and fill them back up. You know what? Yeah, I don't trust something. that shit. You know, someone definitely peed in it, and someone maybe in it. They oh God. Listen, they, I'm oh, sure 100%. they go through. Yeah. So after they go in and they like yeah. wipe it down, I don't know what they do. Anyways, wipe it down. Your skin, your skin yeah. cells are floating in there with I the know, salt. I'm sorry about that. Well, the thing is, I showered before I even went there. Do you shower? Public restrooms? Uh, rarely. I what? never sit down on them. You use our restroom. Ever. Yeah, but that's like you guys. That's your asses. I feel like, like you whatever. should get a camping spout. And all the brides who can't, come in. Uh, No, it's not that. It's the, it's, I'm gonna put a it's the water. It's color. the water that gets me. I can't mm. I can't get past it. Yeah. But I would like. for you. Thank you. So I enjoyed myself. I honestly felt really amazing afterwards. I felt good, rejuvenated. Good. But these are my notes on the actual tank. So because we are the Thick and Tired podcast, I don't think it's a lot of skinny broads out here listening to us. You know what I mean? Oh, yes. I can't imagine. Okay. She so, did have a good, yeah. I'm, for reference, for those of you who, I guess, don't know me and my right. dimensions, She's I'm very tall. Bitch. I'm very tall and I have long, long limbs. I'm like a size 10. I'm like, not, I don't know. Just yeah. like, I don't know. Just a, a normal little animated yeah. little character. A tall, a tall character. Yeah, I'm, I'm stretched out. I'm Laffy Taffy. Yeah. So, a little piece of Laffy Taffy in there. And I literally could not extend my arms fully in the tub so that wasn't comfortable i had to have them a little a kilter i mean it wasn't terrible because honestly i literally sleep with my hands above my head don't really my deodorant yeah like i don't a know bat? yeah i don't really know like anyways but as i was in there it was very shallow too and i said honestly if someone's like bigger than me i don't think it would be that comfortable i don't They'd think be you'd touching be the like, bottom what would and they be touching the bottom i think they might and like, maybe I think not get very your close. whole thing be covered that's what that she's saying really yeah i don't know so the oh so is it are is it not for plus girls? I don't know. I think it might not be like as inclusive. We should hold these motherfuckers them. up well, right well, now. I'm yeah. sure if you ask, they'll tell you the dimensions of the tub. Yeah, no, I'm sure they would. And I feel like again, fun. like I feel like every place has a different tub too. Like a different. I'm sure. Setup. Yeah, everyone has a different setup. But just that specifically, well, what yeah. if it's standard? Maybe I like don't know. Like the rest of the world. Yeah, exactly. You know. So I was thinking well, about within, that. I don't well, know if anyone in a world of right hand yeah. scissored people. Yeah, so if anyone wants to go try it, let me know if you. All right, I'm glad you had that sensory experience. Deprivation I would, tank. I would personally never. No, that'd be biggest. I don't nightmare. even take bath t baths, 
in my own home. So yeah. I don't think I could get into that sensory deprivation. And plus, I'm very sensory seeking. Like, I feel like mm-hmm. I would literally probably go crazy. Probably do yeah. more harm than good. Same. Yeah, no, I agree. I, yeah. I was you like, know? you know what? I'm taking the time for this moment. Good so I might you. as well use it. All right, excellent. Fabulous. That's my birthday. Hope you had a great birthday. Yeah. Thanks. I did. Um, <laughs> custom bridal accessories. Let's talk about this. Mm-hmm. I've been seeing a lot of posting or Sam, well Sam's doing a lot of her posting about her like custom work right yeah how's that going well it's it's going really well actually we have a couple of uh different dresses in the works we have a couple of like robes. custom dresses yeah custom dresses custom robes making custom dresses jackets from scratch. Yes. from scratch like someone will call and be like can you make me a wedding like how, how did you get like how does that work yeah well, they basically one example is some girl came in with her mother's dress and she was like, I want to make a robe out of this. Mm-hmm. We're working on that currently. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like even I was talking to my bride the other day and she was looking for something so specific that I actually pulled Sam out and I was like, you know, if you have the budget for it and you really want something that is in your head that I don't have in the store as a sample, like Sam's going to come out and she's going to say, I could do all of this for you. We'll go the custom route. Wow. So it's definitely an and you, we ha, you know there, a lot of it has to do with like budget too because you're not going to yeah. come in with like but then again like we've had girls that come in with like two thousand dollar budgets budgets and she'll tell them budgets. Budgets, and she'll <laughs> tell them this is what we can do for the budget that you have but like yeah so can someone come in here and buy a sample off the rack like a set like a uh, like a yeah. discontinued dress yeah and yes. say i want to change this entirely yeah and yeah we can do that yeah we've done that we've taken pieces of dresses that we're like okay this is great like she loves this aspect of this dress but maybe she doesn't like the lace or whatever it is and we can just sam can take it and reconstruct it and she's like um pretty amazing tailor over there no she <laughs> is right yeah she's, well, she's we really always knew good. she was like really good at like design yeah and That's the brides absolutely love her who and who the fuck doesn't love you know, sam yeah it, it helps sam listen it really really helps so you know we're under new management in the seamstress department no <laughs> Exciting. I have Stepping to go to the, I still haven't been there. I have to go there. I passed it. I think I new wave imaging and it's right in there. Like yeah, that yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have to go see it. Yeah. It's not open to the public though. That's no, yeah. where we do. That's the studio. That's oh, where we so do all we the don't design. send it's a workshop. Right, so no, maybe someone comes come like, here. hi. I, so Sam will come here and do like everything here. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's just like the workshop. That's where she the works. studio part. So that's like that's like the North Pole and this mm-hmm. is like Yeah, we have Sam and then we have three other seamstresses that work with her. Wow. Yeah. It's great. It's very yeah. nice. We well, love so it. So you hear that out there. If anyone ever needs, doesn't it, you don't have to be curvy or anything. If no. You want, even if you need, like, a dress hem. Like, we, so we offer also, too, like, in our Port Jeff store. So, like, if they buy, like, a cute little dress and they're like, oh, I want this to be hemmed above the knee, we can absolutely do that for you. So it's, like, a one-stop. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a not full like, on, like, tailoring service. Yeah, it's, like, our own, basically. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's yeah. nice. We just well, had a girl come in and she bought two dresses and she had one of them. Um, mm. She was actually a large I believe she wanted one of the little baby doll dresses and um, wow. she really loved the dress. She fell in love with it. And um, Sam's going to tailor it to her size. It's a one X. So she'll a fix baby it up doll dr- Oh, okay. It's like a really cute, like white, um, almost like a gauzy cotton material. Okay. Oh, yeah. that new one. Yeah. The black and white oh ones. Gosh, yeah. So she so really cute. loved the white one, like really loved it, but it was too big on her. And Sam's yeah. like, that's fine. She's like, we'll just alter it to you. No, that dress is so cute. Yeah. She well, loved it. Well, I was it. also kind of thinking about that because I know Sam, and I think Leah, I don't even know. But there was like this embroidery veil that we just mm-hmm. made recently. Mm-hmm. That was so sick. Do you have a picture of it? It was so cool. You do. We'll we show a, you after. Do we have our, is it a different Instagram for the, that? Or this? No, so that stuff is all, because it's all bridal related. Because yeah. so it's, it's all part of the, the ivory and Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's just yeah. an extra service like we provide, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, Sam um, will have her own page like on the website and stuff like that mm-hmm. soon. But everything's integrated into the Instagram. It was fun doing that custom veil, though. Just yeah. because, you know, someone brought it to us as like a gift for her friend. And she was like, I really want to have this embroidered for her in a nice, pretty like script font that when they're done with the wedding, they can kind of cut that out and frame it What's on it their so wall, cool. which is really nice. What, what does it say? It was their names with like a little heart in between. Um, but it was really fun to do. I mean... I, I definitely think doing the custom route, and like if you're looking at like on Etsy, say, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, like they're doing like custom oh, embroidered gosh. veils, I would say mm-hmm. come and do it in person because then I can sit with you and we can go through different fonts together and we can you go know, through placement together. And you don't have that, per- you don't have, if you buy something on Etsy, it's not that personal. Like, yeah, you are supporting small business or whatever, but like 
something but you like also this, don't you know have the quality. to see it. You have to touch the quality. You have to yeah. speak to the person. You have to like you're trusting that person with a pretty big garment, and it's probably gonna yeah. be well, you know, it's and gonna be expensive. pricey. Like you said, budget, <laughs> budget. <laughs> You know, like you said before, Shut so up. you want to see it in person right. and you want to feel man. the fabric because so many times like the veils that are bought or purchased from Amazon or Etsy. Right. The fabric is sometimes it's it's different and it's manufactured in a way that it's so super hard to steam yeah. and press out that it just looks wrinkled the whole time. Mm -hmm. Like there's no way to actually fully press it right. out. Really? So qual quality of material is so Agreed. super important and it changes the whole look of everything Agreed. altogether. I've gotten a few pieces of like clothes on etsy for scarlet even when i got them this is it like okay, yeah you know i feel like i would do etsy for like certain things like yeah, i feel like definitely. i would do like jewelry or like little like little i don't know well, other yeah. things I've bought, but like, i feel like for things, your wedding like, oh yeah etsy but is never, great like, but you yeah. sell on etsy right leah i used to here and there um but mainly just like trying to like transform it into more just like artwork stuff yeah, on okay. etsy but i don't know it's super hard to do and etsy kind of takes like a big profit so mm -hmm. like, they, they really? take what a they take? big portion of like what you sell and then you have all these fees and stuff so mm -hmm. it's just like i don't know it's it was kind of like almost wasting my time at a certain point mm -hmm. and then you also realize like people are bumping up their pricing so much on etsy mm -hmm. but i still buy things from etsy like for mm -hmm. um my birthday this past year justin got me like one of those easels like a handmade wooden mm -hmm. easel and like that's something yeah i actually treasure because someone made that yeah you yeah. know it's, it's not like just going on amazon on yeah no, and i, I feel like that. you know and then i feel like when it comes to like the bridal accessories and stuff too it's like especially if you came here and got your dress with us it's like you know us you know yeah we're exactly, all buddies yeah. now and it's like right here it's in person right and right all you would have to do is literally just call us up and go hi i yeah. have an idea for a little custom thing right exactly and then we can schedule yeah. for a consult with what sam yeah it can and it can be from anything like sam did the baptism dress that came out absolutely yeah. gorgeous for she Rocky, took the right? yeah oh, she took the beautiful. wedding dress and um just completely transformed it and it was honestly i can't see how she could have bought a more beautiful dress it was absolutely stunning it's pretty fucking talented and then i gotta tell you the dress meh the dress wasn't the nice it looks better as a baptism dress <laughs> yeah. really the uh, dress was like some... sam's dress no she took her i thought you were shitting on sam she dress. said to me no because her dress was all satin oh so i said why sample. don't you take one of the sample dresses from the back and make she oh. said i would love to make rocky's dress and i said why don't you look for one in the back and she came out this one and i was like take it i was like because uh yeah it wasn't gonna get sold no it was no, just kind of sitting, been there sitting there for you so have dresses long you have here that just oh my here. god that are just Over sitting 100? too many <gasps> oh pff. yeah there's got to be like 200 dresses there? should we do like should you do like a wild sale one day we've done we've done yeah yeah no like five dollars yeah, I know. But you have to $5. Like, I don't five know. Five dollars. Or like a hundred dollars. It's not even worth me opening the store for five dollars. <laughs> or like three hundred dollar wedding yeah, dresses. Yeah, we did one time we did one sale, it was one day and mm -hmm. all the dresses were five hundred dollars. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And did any go? No. No, I think we sold like two though. Yeah, but how, how long ago was that? Honestly, Last year, though, honestly, though, it brought people in and they saw the actual the samples dresses. we had and they made appointments to come in and actually all try right. on so yeah. it was worth gowns. it we should do that again and see what happens yeah. do you have price tags on the, on the dresses <laughs> absolutely no. not well here wait let me I talk saw about something was that a TikTok that i saw yeah recently? it was on instagram and TikTok. it yeah. was a, a real someone was like annoyed that the price tags was on, on the dress well no they're basically like oh we have price tags on my, our, their dresses and i know there's a lot of stores that do put price tags on the dresses and that's fine to each his own right. i don't put prices on the dresses because i can't speak today yeah, you're are you all right? I'm like, I'm fit. You need to do like um what are the what do the actors do? Red leather. Sally 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 Oh, okay. It's Sally's Sally 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 I hate Coles. No, I like uh, I like Coles. Oh, I don't God, like Sephora. Anyway, Cole's let's go sponsor. get over that. I, I don't, I'm not a Sephora fan. I like Ulta a lot. Wait, price tags. Okay, wait. Okay, price tags. So. When the girls put the dresses on, <laughs> it's look good today. Hey, Rob. Da -da 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 -da. I can't even do that. When the girls put know, the dresses on, right. the tags fall off constantly. Right. Then we tried putting the long ribbon with the pocket, and then I was like, we would lose tags. People take pictures of tags. I'm like, you know what? I'm over it. I feel like I like to think that we're a little more of a high end store. Right. I don't need price tags on everything. Yeah. Plus, people are um, coming I think and it's going really the tacky. Yeah. yeah, I'm just not a fan. And you know what? Uh, it's my store, so I don't and like right, dresses. Right, so we're not I don't, change I don't, I don't, there's no tags on the dresses. Like, you'll find, like, 
some tags, like it'll say like if it's discontinued, yeah. then there's that type of tag. But you're really there aren't a lot of dresses that actually have tags on. But them. not even that. You're not. You're coming in. You're making an appointment. We're pulling dresses within your budget. You're not coming here like, oh, let me look at yeah. this one, this one, this and one. And that's that why one. we tell people too, please don't pull the dresses out of the rack because your girl comes in and she's like, oh, I have a fifteen hundred dollar budget, and then you have grandma and Aunt Betty who are like, mm -hmm. oh, let her try this one on. I'm like, that's like a four thousand dollar dress. Yeah. Like Aunt she's Betty. not. She can't afford this. You're gonna make her fall in love with it, and then she's gonna be like, I can't afford this dress and aunt betty unless you're gonna buy it for her please just sit yeah down. No, that's exactly what i say literally i'll go oh i go okay like let me just check the price first and they go no 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 it's her wedding like she yeah. should be able to just let us do don't our let job her worry. and i go a, are you know. gonna give me the extra 15 grand yeah no i don't know and, Whatever. and you know and it's supposed to be an experience you, right. the girls the, your stylist is there to help you have this wonderful experience where you don't have to do anything they're gonna pull everything that you need to see or that the bride needs to right, see according to the family. This is the experience. If yeah. you wanted to do it yourself, then you should go to stores that you can do it yourself, like David's. Yeah. You don't have to worry about a thing here. Yeah. Like you literally just you can literally walk around and rummage the Macy's is gone. There's they don't have the it. they don't have the bridal section anymore. Oh no, they don't. And that was like Demetrios. Yeah. Well, our Macy's was Demetrios. I don't know if they were all like that. I, I don't so. remember. But yeah, they don't have that anymore. But yeah, if you want to have that like self-serve experience, then go to stores that have that, not to stores that don't. Mm -hmm. I wonder if, uh, if most of the bridal salons on Long Island do the same thing that we do. I think most bridal salons, if they're like 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 us, I think that they want um, people, the whole thing is the experience. You know, it's supposed to be this like special yeah. moment in your life where you're catered to. It's the beginning of the thing. If you wanted to rummage again, you know, that's just not Does the way David's that it's done. Does David let people rummage, Leah? Because you used to work at David's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, that's okay. the whole focus. My best friends on my whole bridal party, we all worked at David's together. Yeah. We would be, like, I would be, I was alterations manager. So yeah. I would be sitting in the break room on my lunch, and my friends would literally just be sitting there. I'm like, oh, it's a slow day today. She's like, no, I have a couple brides. They're just browsing. Like, she wouldn't, she would check in on them maybe three times throughout their entire yeah, appointment. Yeah, they just browse. There's yeah. Racks. How funny. And then she'd just pop back in and be like, how, how is David? She would literally pop back in and be like, so how are we doing? And they'd be like, we're fine. And then she'd leave again and just go sit in the break like, room. It, why, why is David? <laughs> I hate to thing? call her out. But <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it needs to be a thing because every, every, there's something for everybody. And there are people that want, don't want to spend like a thousand dollars or two thousand, three thousand, four thousand dollars. Or, you know, oh God, what the hell was that? My watch. I oh, thought someone just like opened the so door. Aggressive. It sounded like someone just signed on to AOL. Like, <laughs> no, that was the door when they left. It was oh, slammed. Yeah. That was oh my good. God, that's, that's what it sounded like. That, that, that was, was like, spot yes. on. I was like, am I fucking 13 again in dirty <laughs> chat rooms on AOL? Oh my God. Or did you went into the dirty chat rooms? Hell yeah. Oh, she did. Of course she did. I don't remember it. You know, my mom, my mom watches this. Wait, this is She'll so, make comments. But I went on Omegle. I saw you on the the. I oh, I love Omegle. Omegle's gone. What is oh, it really? called? Omegle. What? The hell's Fascinating. Omegle? Omegle? Oh. Um, Omegle? Some girls out there will get it. Some girls. The girls won't. who got it get it. The girls who don't don't. But we what? were doing it a lot during COVID, and really? we had a boy serenade us. Oh my god. During COVID, no, so I was clearly like not 13. that old. Is it a dirty is it website? No. I haven't so, used yes. it in a long so since I was like 13. Yeah. So Omegle is a website where you go on and you can just randomly video chat anyone else who's on Omegle. Oh my god. And just right. sounds like a, that sounds like a lawsuit waited that Oh, yeah, really. It was I'm sure crazy. that happened, but they just shut it down a couple of years probably ago. Probably like a was... lot of pedophiles on oh, there. Oh, anyway. Ew, ew, ew. Wow, price tags to Omegle. What else we got today, girls? <laughs> Wait, what is Sephora? First of all, I don't like Sephora either. Okay. I'm an ultra girly through and through. Me too. They have high end, but they also have like L'Oreal, which is the only mascara yes. that I've used since middle school. Wait, which one do you use? I literally can't. I don't oh. like Sephora. I know. I'm sorry. What happened? Every time. So I just went the other day and now it's inside Kohl's and that's great. Blah, 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 whatever. Mm, is it great? Mm. I don't know. And mm. Paul was like, let's go to Kohl's because he needs shorts or something. I don't know what the hell he needed. So um, we go to Kohl's. We go in. I walk in to Sephora and I'm like, let me. I asked the girl. I was like, do, do you know anything about this? Like, because I'm older. You know what I mean? So like concealer can like sink into places. And I was like, do you know anything about mm. this product? And she was like, no. Just very matter of fact. And I was like, oh, I'm like, OK. Like, no, no explanation, no nothing. She was just like, no. I'm like, all right, well. Even if she was just like, oh, this is newer. I'm not really yeah, sure. And it's not Why, newer. Bitch, turn it on. Turn the No, like, she lie. had no desire. So I was like, okay, whatever. So then I go home. I take my concealer that I bought. What and kind? I bought, what brand? Uh, Huda Beauty. I love, yeah. Is it Huda? Huda. 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 Yeah. 
Who does? Who I also hear they have the best right. loose powder as well. Well, so I have to tell but, you, the concealer is fabulous. I absolutely love it. But I'm fairly certain that the bottle is empty. So I'm thinking someone probably used it, and Kohl's has like a freaking 149,000 oh. day return oh, policy. Oh, you're at the Kohl's in the Sephora. The Sephora so, in the Kohl's. I, yeah, that's a thing. So we're gonna talk. So, I'll talk to, I'll say yeah. something about that. So I'm pretty sure that the bottle was empty, and I'm trying. I'm like popping this bottle. I'm like trying to get the freaking stuff out, and I, li literally, this is like my fourth day using it, and I don't use that much. I literally just use a little bit here and a little bit here. Yeah. And then this morning, I went to go use my Urban Decay, which I always use Morphe. I like the Urban Decay spray one. Oh, I love, I like Morphe better. I, I, I like the way this Morphe smells, but whatever. The Urban Decay does stay. I went spray it on my face, and literally, it spits out all white dots all over my face. Yes. Terrible. Right after That's I why I don't like the Urban Decay one. <sighs> yep. So now I'm going to bring them both back and be like, you know what, Sephora? This is why I don't love you. Oh, but you're going to go see that bitch. But do you think it's different that you went to a Sephora within the Coles where they hire girls who don't give a fuck? Or this woman was my fuck? age. So, like, honestly, she looked put together. So the fact that she literally had zero knowledge about one of probably the main products in Sephora, I felt yeah. that was odd. I wonder if they... It has, like, a main section in there. But you know what? I feel that some, sometimes I go to Ulta. Product? Yeah. When I, whenever I go to Ulta, I am dropping bank because I go oh, there. Oh, me when too. I mean, it's like three hundred dollars. Like four, four minimum. Yeah. So when I went in there, someone like came up to me, and I said to myself, "Wow, when I walk in, it's gonna be someone's lucky day." Because like I literally, she's like, "What do you need?" I'm like, "I need everything." Do they work? I'm on like, commission? I want to. I don't know. I, don't know. So. I don't know. But I'm just figuring out. I'm like, I want concealer. I want a foundation. I want a setting spray. I need a lipstick. It was lame, and I'm pretty sure the fa the foundation didn't match. I had to go. It was the Rihanna, Rihanna, whatever the fuck it is. Fenty. Oh. Yeah, and it didn't, like, I she have put it on from her. I don't know. I was just, like, I wasn't happy with it. Like, last time I went to Ulta, the woman, the makeup artist who was there, like, they're mm -hmm. usually makeup yeah. artists there. Yeah, usually. She was, like, I hate those products. She Ooh. told my mom, because my mom was, like, I love the Fenty products. She was, like, I hate those. She's, like, you should stop using them. Period. And my mom was, like, really? why? Really? She was, like, I really like it. A lot like of people it. talk about them. Yeah. So my mom was, like, I'm not going to stop using it. But. Wait, so one day, I have to tell you this quick story. One day I went into Ulta. This was a couple of years ago. And there was, an, like, an older woman. By the way, I've only seen her one time. And I used to frequent Ulta a lot. <laughs> She was an older woman, and I said, I'm looking for, like, a cream contour. And she was like, honey, nobody uses those anymore. And I was like. She said it's not 2016 anymore, hon. Everyone and I was like, cream hold contour. on a second. I was like, what is she talking about? I'm like, it's literally all over TikTok. And then I was like, oh, wait, you're 85. Maybe you don't know. And then I was like, <laughs> whatever. And then, um, yeah, she, like, pointed me to, like, the Anastasia one, which I absolutely love. And some people don't like it. I just like it for me. Um. But I was like a little shocked by that. And then, by the way, I feel like everyone uses cream contour all the time. Yeah. And I it became like a big contour. thing right after that. So I was like, I think I'm ahead of the game. At that time. I switched to a cream, but I didn't, I don't like it. So I, I like put. It. I now I use powder. I still use my powder, which I love my powder contour. My thing with the powders is that I feel like they sink into your pore. Like as you get older, they sink into your pores and the little fine lines and that's why i don't use setting powder i don't use anything like yeah. that on my face hmm. yeah because oh, you, man, you have to girl. like i need glow need a female yeah. or male by makeup you could so much freaking money. i see yeah. some at these weddings i see some of these makeup artists they come with like a suitcase full of nice stuff well yeah and that is like thousands and thousands and thousands you look at my tits mm -hmm. they look good i can't stop looking at them they're I literally know. out there i'm like i know they look hello really and it's a new bra too so um, double whammy today <laughs> i love it um, what was I gonna say? I love when I like stare into the makeup kits and I like I'm like, oh, I use that. I have that oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> that one I have. You Speaking know. of TikTok, did you guys see that stupid whore on TikTok what? talking about did a poll and she said that fifty four percent of women said they'd rather get hit by a car than be overweight. So, I wanna talk to fifty four percent of these women. Well No. I came in with the research. Okay. I said who did they poll? I want to know they who had they to polled. Have only polled skinny, skinny girls. girls. This skinny is a study. superficial girls. This is a study from, I believe, 1994. Okay, well there you go. In a it. poll Diet done by Hunter. Esquire Wait. magazine. Oh, I'm done. I'm ripping uh -huh. up this paper. So at least 50, and then I'm not in the sure. 90s, anorexic was in. A hundred percent. So, so at least 54 percent of women said that they would rather be run over by a truck than be extremely fat. Um, in a research done by Chantelle Milan and Louise Vincent from the Department of Political Science at Rhodes University. So wait, they got this statistic from 1994? Yes. Irrelevant. And it's, 
and they posted it on recently. She well, I can't tell you I'm anymore gonna because the up, article is gone now. But oh, sorry. <laughs> Can I have that? No, fuck. Well, I have the second page. She, <laughs> she has another. So this was me. She knew that was going to happen. Yeah. So they did it for Esquire. I guess like those people are like, whatever. So their whole goal was to see what people's mindsets were on like being overweight and this and that in that climate. So I guess this happened in 1994 um, in Esquire magazine. That's why they published it because isn't Esquire like for men? Isn't it like for like yeah, of course. men who are horny for men? Like not remember. like man playboy but i feel like it's like ooh, i'm not gonna lie i honestly man. don't remember no i well, feel whatever. like it's like a man magazine like i think it is a man yeah. mag so it was in this man mag is it like and maxim ma- no I think mm, it's- no it's not like sexual it's like i think it's like forbesy oh okay whatever anyways so in it um so then there was like an article um like an article in oh jeez, i just hit the table so in 2009 there was like it came into the media again probably and people were like oh my god the statistics blah 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 then it came again in 2015 apparently and people were chatting about it and now it's back in 2024 i want to pull so, yeah so it just keeps being no researched. i want to pull on our fucking on our, website yeah, do on, on our instagram i want to pull for from from 2024 i want to know who first of all who the hell put, pulls up a poll from 1994 and uses it as a freaking reel and is like smaller, i kicked you again i'm like, sorry that's, that's scary that's okay. shit first of all don't make first and, of all first of all so don't even make that comparison i just got into a car i told you my some little motherfucker hit my car with yeah. scarlet in it like that and it wasn't even that a lot of damage but like gosh who would bit. say that though like i don't care if it's 1994 you'd rather get hit by car yeah than be overweight people are out of their goddamn minds what's wrong with you Someone that's so some, moronic. Someone commented something so funny. It's moronic. What it is. I can't. It's remember. like too moronic to even Wait, try. And does make anybody sense. have? The, I want to see the comments. Does anybody? Can anyone pull up the reel? I wish I could pull it yeah, up on my I thing. I think you can. What just, is it? For, where is it on? Like it's, this. Makes I would me go so on Instagram. Mad. You can probably go on to Instagram, find it, or on TikTok. I don't have go, TikTok. Oh Jesus Christ! What? I feel like it would like really because I feel like I have a social media addiction as it is. Like I'm constantly on my phone. And How do you during the pandemic, you would before I had TikTok. Scarlet, I had TikTok, and I feel like it really fucked with my producti- productivity. So I deleted it because I knew if I had TikTok, that's all I would do, and I probably wouldn't even talk to anybody or even talk it to my It depends child. on who you follow, because for me, like, I follow a lot of cleaning, like, clean oh, yeah. talk, <laughs> and the ideas that you get on different cleaning. ways to clean your home... And like all the products to buy, like I fucking love it. I can, but yeah. I everything so is on, on Everything gets to Instagram and anyway. You know what I, I mean? Know. Well, oh, from what I glazed over in the comments, from what I remember, because I think I saw like a like the video, and then I think I saw someone stitched it, and a lot of people were basically still saying like, no. Well, I it's bullshit. I call all these people oh, out. Oh, because we're saying. Yes, people rather. are still on there the There was wave. a video where the girl was like, well, what kind of car? Is it a truck or yeah. is it like a Prius? Yeah. Does it matter, you moron? Yeah. I mean. Like, what is wrong with these people? I would get hit by a truck because you can sue them. But, like, how much are you really going to get for that? What if you. But then. What if you die? No, that's exactly what, what it is. What if you, like, but break then, your legs and you so, come paraplegic? Say, like, how stupid can you create such a stupid. Aren't both, like, kind of, like. Why? You- I would say my takeaway from this is that, like, what extremes would you go to then to lose weight? Like, are we dealing with now anorexia, bulimia, stuff like that? That you're saying you'd rather get hit by a car than to just embrace curves on your body? I literally like, can't roll my eyes back into my head any yeah, I know. further. Prince pissed. Because it it's annoying. the stupidest thing I've ever fucking heard of. Yeah. That's like being like. And now, I'm now sorry. you're putting it's, that it's, out because you would never say. No one would ever be like, would you rather get hit by a car or would you rather be gay? It's the stupidest fucking thing. I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and now you're putting that out there on the internet for other women who maybe are dealing with... And by the way, I have nothing against gay people, but I'm using it as an analogy. I'm not trying to cut you off, but I'm, like, really aggravated about this. It's a stupid thing. I wish we had that. You have to... Can we, like, put it up when when we do this podcast? We have to, like, show the girl saying it. She's like, I need it at all. It's like, okay. Yeah. Well, she, I believe what she said, because it was another podcast who was discussing There's it. a couple of them, by the way. Yeah. It's not just one person. Okay. Like, there's a bunch of them. So I don't know, like, which one you got, which one you yeah. saw, which I don't one. Know. I, I don't know, like, Brunette if you've Broad. all seen the same one. But, like, I've seen a couple of them out there. It's stupid. I don't like it. Yeah, because I've seen. It's insulting. Yeah, because I think someone, like, started it, and then everyone's been, like, stitching it. Yeah. Like, popping off about it and whatnot. I don't know, but I feel Would like... Would I rather be that person or get hit by a car? I'd probably rather get hit by a car than yeah. be the person that said I'd rather be fat. I yeah. mean, I'd rather be hit, get hit by a car. Because obviously, you ugly. Right. These ugly hoes. 
these ugly hoes, man. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, thick and tired. Yeah, I'm oh tired God. of people. Here we fucking go. Corinne, let's Corinne, let's I'm start. about to go on a fucking rant. Let's go. All right, let go. Today. I'm the potty mouth. Yeah. Everybody today is cursing. I'm cursing I'm, like a truck driver today. I always curse. I'm, I'm horrible. Always. She's, she's a trailer. Corinne, if it's a little pussy, what do you Leah's think on? Leah's going because she's on a roll. Oh, Leah. What do you think on? So, remember last week? Well, I don't have a fucking thick this week. She doesn't okay? have a thick. Okay, I'm fucking angry. Remember no, last week when I was saying my car got hit yes. while you're doing the podcast? The I picked story. up my car on Friday. Perfect. It's in perfect condition. It looked really good. Yeah, it yeah, did. It did. Didn't it? Shiny. And so, what happened? Corinne and I went to get our nails done yesterday. <laughs> We, we walk out of the nail salon. We're like, oh, my God, that was so fun. That was fast, blah, blah, blah. And we're walking towards our cars because we're parked next to each other. And I'm like, what is that on the floor, like on the ground? It's my fucking bumper. I'm my like, bumper oh, my is God, on the fucking somebody ground. hit your car again. And I'm like, but they like, it's, no, no. I didn't even have it a fucking week. Not a week. You okay? have like four days. But Barely. here's the here's the kicker of the whole story, by the way. They There's did no not cameras. leave a note. No cameras. There's no note. There's nothing. So and they, they just fucking abandoned, abandoned ship, and they were like, "Fuck this bitch." I hit her car. Not my problem. Oh my. Okay. God. And the, so now the, I have to pay a five hundred dollar deductible to get my car fixed because no, there's no other insurance to go through. Because whoever hit you probably doesn't because have it's insurance. No one else's. It's Fuck yours. them. That's Fuck them. Karma. And if you honestly, if you are someone who's driving and you're not paying attention to your fucking surroundings, at least own up to a mistake you made. Yes. Like own up to it. Fuck, I hit your car. Like yep. let me, let me. F- and I'm just so pissed or, off. You know what? Can I just say Glad something? Can, can I just say something? And yeah. this is sound really stupid. What if, okay, what if the person stayed? Mm-hmm. I'm going to throw out an, a, a, a scenario. Okay. The person stays. Let's say it's like an older woman. And she comes out and she was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Um, I, I don't have money. I'm poor shit. She like, gives you like this whole big thing. Fucking... I, 100%. I would have respected that more than someone just I would have like, been like, you know what? It's okay. Mistakes happen. But like, also, why am I responsible for? But why right. am I responsible for fixing someone so else's fucking mistake? So let's say the mistake? person did stay and have insurance. Would you still have to pay that five hundred dollar deductible? No, well, no because that's they... what happened the last time. Is that she left a note? She was like, "I'm fully responsible for this. I'm so sorry." She left a note. And can you just vouch for the fact that I'm not parking like an asshole? Oh no, she wasn't. She literally I'm was parked like in the she was literally in the I'm spot. So sorry, Leah. And it's funny because like when I looked at her car, I was like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "Someone hit your car again." And then she was like, "Oh my god!" And then I don't think either one of us really realized the severity and I was like it was like a good like three minutes and I was like Leah your literal bumper is like hanging out of the car. I had to pick up pieces and they're in the back of my car now of my bumper the th- thing is cracked. Crazy. I was the like the thing is what? cracked and it's hanging out and now when I pull into my driveway oh. I hear it clanking Aww. like the thing is gonna fucking fall off and I just want to yeah. know who the fuck it was because I would like to talk to you myself <laughs> She would like to pull I would that like to bumper talk out of her backseat. She would like to because, have a conversation with because you. Because fuck you. Like, actually, take ownership for it's your shit. It's bad karma. They, and you know, honestly, it is bad karma. if you're driving, just fucking pay attention. Right. Pay the fuck attention. You're driving a vehicle. Like, right. you could... Thank a vehicle's God. vehicle's a weapon. Thank That's God I wasn't said. in the car. Yep. I mean... Yeah. I don't know if I would have gotten like, injured, but still, like, I'm my thick is that thank God I'm not getting hurt. I was gonna say, these... thank God she wasn't in the car. Yeah, twice. do you think they were trying to like parallel park? Is that what this it is? No, was definitely it looked like someone, it tried to like pull someone in. was backing out or pulling in the yeah. way they hit it was the driver's side, um, front like bumper. Oh. Or I think they that they that? were yeah. either backing their car into the spot or they were pulling into the spot mm. and they just smacked her. Because people don't know how to parallel car. park, because you can't pull into a spot to parallel park, you have to move up to move back. And yeah. can I just Well, no, say, she didn't. It was a regular parking space. I have. It was it a regular like oh, a parallel parking space. I was space. thinking we're parked on the street. No, no it's no. not like a main street. A it's like a literal parking, parking lot. lot. And a the regu- spaces aren't even that small. No. My truck has tons of room when yeah. we park there. Yeah, your mm-hmm. school bus. But can I just say, I've had this car for five <laughs> years, and in one, I've never had anything happen to wow. it. One month. Not even. Three weeks. And two fucking idiots in two separate parking lots have hit my car. Learn how to drive. Right. Learn I'm how just to so Leah is tired. And then, wait, can I just say, can I just say, on my way home, I'm driving home, I'm livid, I'm livid. I'm, I was calling Justin, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm like crying now at this point. And I stop at a stop sign, and I let the person go, and then it's obviously, how, how do stop signs work for you yeah, guys? Yeah, you go. Is it I go after the other person? Yes. Oh, well, not according to this bitch who's on her fucking phone. Doesn't even stop at the stop sign. Just sees the person going in front of her. And she just continues to roll through. What she happened? continues to roll through. And she's like, okay, she's not paying attention. I'm turning already because I'm like, fuck you. Hit me. Hit me. You want to take ownership you. for all this she shit? Hit the other Go side. Ahead. So 
<laughs> so I literally am on my horn because this bitch yeah. is not paying attention. As you should. Fuck you. Fuck you. Pay the fuck attention. Put your fucking phones down. Sorry. I've like, been beeping a lot too. Yep, a lot recently. Someone hit me. Little Diego. Out there. And it's like, oh, I was yeah, just saying, my car. Yep. I was just saying to Corinne while we were getting our nails done, everyone's driving like a fucking twat right well, now. I said, well, the sun's because out. Because so the sun's out and everyone just thinks. <laughs> sun's out, twat's out. Yeah, yep. seriously. <laughs> and if you have a child on the road, yep. tell them to fucking pay attention. Yep. If they're young, tell them they need to pay attention because it's not even, it's not them. Like you could do everything right. I don't think this was right. a kid that did that to you. No. I, I have a feeling you, it was like an older person. You can do everything right and someone could still almost accidentally hit you or hit you, God forbid. And so the, everyone needs to just be on high alert and... Now I'm like, am I going to have to park at the very back of fucking parking lots everywhere I fucking go now? Like, come on. Kind of hot when you're mad. All right, everyone hold hands. Calming circle. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Nothing's going to calm me. One, two, three. Um, Oh, we're doing that. Like hocus pocus, a calming circle. (laughs) Okay, good. Thank you. you you She didn't feel calm. She was like, get off my hand. (laughs) I'm so angry. Corinne, what's your thick and tired? Um... I don't really know. It's hard this week because there's so much stuff. I feel like right now I have life as my tired because I'm just like, I feel like I need to catch a break. Yeah, you got a lot going on. So I feel like there's a lot of waves that are happening and I was kind of like getting like other things were like falling into place and then more shit just came as like a tidal wave that that's always the case just how life works i guess yeah and it's just like you know so i'm a little like i want other people to like give me a break yes is that what i like because it's like a lot of things that happen kind of not in your control yeah like i i get it like i'm not answering people i'm not doing but i have a lot of things going on so i'm like trying to like do the best that i can to just get through every single day and it's literally one day at a time and that's it well i'm really proud of you well thank you um and then my thick is well i'm alive so that's wow we're on the same page well i mean like i'm still like i don't mean it like that because then i sound like paul's dad but like i feel like i'm still getting up and i'm still able to like do things and like laugh and smile and that is like a blessing always been that's that's you you've always done it yeah i mean i i'm very like resilient in that kind of way so like that's my that's my mindset like okay like okay this shit sucks and i do have moments of like whatever but like Mm -hmm. then i have to go into like this like you are a resilient bitch. Thank you know, you. one of the most resilient people I've ever met in my life. Thanks. A lot yeah, of like shit. you're just plowing through, just, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I just, you know what? Plow I don't balls. Do There's so much stuff that has happened. Who was I making the joke about with the book? And I was like, I'm, I want to write a book. I'm like, but I need a ghostwriter because I'm not a writer. Oh. I can write it. G, G is going to write my book. She's going to be my ghostwriter. But it's going to start like this. February 17th, 1977. And so the shit begins. <laughs> that's your birthday. Yes. Yeah, that's my we'll birthday. S- okay, so, so we'll sh- start sitting by the pool. <laughs> and we'll type. Yes. You'll have a tape recorder. Amongst yeah. the palm Ooh. trees. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm Wait. telling you, it could be a lifetime movie. This we is so, so random, but I think my mom, when I was younger, like, she wanted to, like, write books and stuff. So she actually has, like, mad, like, half-written, like, half, like, written yeah. books and stuff. It's very weird. Wow. And she used to always have, like, a tape recorder and, like, chit-chat into it. And we had so many, like, tapes around our house. It was very weird. Okay. Wow. Anyways, Cassidy, you're thick and tired? I would do it. Oh, no, sorry, you do it. Oh, you're me? thick and tired, biatch. Um, mm-hmm. mine, mine is, um, mine is entertaining-ish. <laughs> so, my thick is so my birthday was on monday i'm not thick on that i was literally standing in the rain like crying because i just wanted to feel something you know what i mean it felt right for my birthday what? anyways but so i was like uh, well, so it was a sensory deprivation you're looking for sensory now i guess so yeah well i'm very up and down so on monday i was just like uh, in a mood but then later on in the day everyone started texting me I'm thick on everyone telling me their secrets and gossip. Oh, yeah. I love, love it. Them. Any deep, dark secrets you have, as long as they're not too depressing, tell me. Didn't I just send or you an email info real at iremain.com? I don't even know. You yeah, probably like did. Gemini. Oh, yes. Yes, I did, did send it. And I love it. I was just... Yeah, I was like, this is so <gasps> Gia. Let's do a deep, dark secret episode no. this week. <laughs> yes. Everybody out there, email info at iremain.com. We will keep you anonymous. Yeah, tell us Ooh. your deep, dark secrets. You can yeah. send it anonymous, too. I won't tell mine. I don't have There's okay, ways of doing that. I'm excited. That, that sounds good. You can good. fax it to us. What's your tired? My tired. Um, it's so stupid. Um, my tired is how fast eyebrow pencils run out. Yeah. Why do they run out so fast? I get it. And I can't get the thin ones anymore because they just break on me. And oh. I feel like I literally, so I bought two oh. eyebrow pencils. Mm-hmm. I opened up one and I had a second one and I went to go use it and then the next day i went to go back and pick that same pencil up and it's like gone and it was literally gone but then i picked up a different one and it was the brand 
another brand new one. I said it wouldn't look like this if this was brand new. Oh. So I said, you know what? I don't understand how any of this works. What the hell's going on? You distracted me. What's going on? So, no, yeah. we'll so I'm sick of how much, like, how fast eyebrow pencils run out. Because then I feel like I'm buying them every single well, week. And I'm not even using a lot short, of it. Sephora sucks, so. Yeah, even though I do use the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. All right, my turn. My thick. My thick is my outfit today because it's Woo! really cute. She looks Cider hot. Cider Curve. Love it. Got this from here. A lot how much of, was it? It was probably like $7.99. It was like nothing. And it's, yeah, like, it's a so bodysuit. suit. And it's cute. And I wear my high-waisted black pants. But it's, like, cute, right? Yeah. The yits are yittying. The pants okay. from the curvy corner. I gotta go visit my and my. No, those are from Torin. They're not from the curvy corner. No, this is from the curvy corner. Oh. Yes. Oh Please. shit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I stand corrected. I thought those were the Torin. No, this is yours. Oh. oh, I have those. I forgot about them. Yeah. Okay. My tired is. My t- I was thinking about this earlier. You know that that football player kicker guy. He did like his little speech and everything. Everyone's oh, like up yeah. in arms. Listen, here's the thing. Do Kermit? I agree with him 100? percent No. But like, that's his opinion. Whatever you know what I mean. If like it just doesn't like if well, people are so are like assholes. people have different opinions, and then immediately like turn to violence and like fuck you. Yeah, like, I well, really like, still whatever. have to Keep listen to it. He's probably a nice guy. You know, that's all that matters if he treats yeah. you with respect. If this is his opinion, just, like, keep it moving, you know? I don't know. Just... I, I really need to, like, sit down and, like, yeah. really listen to it. Everyone like... flips out if they don't. someone doesn't agree with them. And yeah. it's just, like, whatever. I feel like they also had well, beef. The I feel like they were, in. like, time and place. No, I mean, but, I like, know, whatever, dude. Like, that's his pl- – if he wants to use that platform, like, yeah, is it was the greatest. Like, like I don't agree with it, but I'm not going to sit there and be like, fuck you, fuck your family, go to hell. Like, quit the NFL. I, mean, I live under a rock. I have no idea what it's you're just, talking I don't know. about. We'll like, it's with everything, it though. Later. It's with everything. We'll like, it everything. Is it a new thing that just happened? No, he did. This is just a like really hot as show. shit football kicker player. Okay. And what he happened? He did a speech at a commencement ceremony. He's very Christian, very Catholic, like, very old school when it comes to, like, his morals and shit like that. He said something. I don't know the word for words. I don't Because a lot of people are also taking it and running with it. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think it was, like, a very long... Yeah. Because it's like a commencement it is speech, what it is. so I think it's like 15 minutes. You know, I don't know. We'll talk, we should talk about that next week. Is that no, how long they are? No, they're all Commencement speeches? Like anyway. Minutes. Send us your hot gossip. Perfect. Dark Please secrets. Send us your gossip. Send us any yep. drama you have. Send and then it really and send it anonymously if you don't want to send it. I don't yeah, know. Make up a fake yeah. email and just send it. We'll change yeah. names. We'll never know we, who you are. Yeah, yeah, we would literally never know. We will change we it up. We'll even know. add fake facts into it yeah. so that no one knows it's you. Yeah. Yeah. No, we won't go that far. But we'll definitely <laughs> uh, We'll definitely change it. <laughs> I'll create fake stories. Who would know? Come on. No one would know. No one would know. Until next week. Juicy gossip. All right. See you next Tuesday. Get off your cell phones when you drive. Please.